Hello, uh, David Baker with To Be or Not To Be, and Robert here. We're uh, doing um, alcohol wash today. We're just going to kind of walk through the whole process. So uh, we're going to start with one of our easy check jars and add alcohol about halfway up. Put the container in. in. This alcohol has been used a few times, so it's not exactly clear. It's, it's, a, it's not like it's whiskey or anything, despite the color. Uh, so that's probably a good amount of alcohol to have on there. Uh, this colony has uh, honey supers on. It's a double deep. Uh, we want to get down into the brood area um, to take our sample. So Robert's going to open up the hive and we'll get in there. And then you can hand me the smoker. Okay. Thank you. So they weren't doing anything in this super the last time I was here looking at it. My my guess is is there's probably not a lot of anything happening. Drawn in there. out, but not no yeah. honey. So we we'll just keep uh, right on moving down. Yeah, it's light. <laughs> so, uh, over wintered colony, we I think this was actually half of a walk away split in the spring. Um, so it's built up nicely into a, a double deep. It just hasn't made any honey for whatever reason. Uh, so we are going to want a frame out of the brood area, and you know, we don't really know where that is yet because we haven't been down in this hive since the start of. The honey season uh, you know so it's been a couple months since I've been in this top box um, with well my guess is because there's nothing in there oh, nope. looks like brew. Yeah, a little bit of brood here all right so we got brood so the first thing we're gonna do is look and make sure that we don't have the queen uh, this is a good frame uh, it's gonna have plenty of nurse bees I don't see her, Robert, see her. do you? I don't either. Okay. One There's... more glance. All right, so we uh, have no queen. We've got our, our tub here. It's a little dirtier than we like, but, you know, uh, I left the queen one at the shop. We've got our half cup measuring cup. Robert's going to shake the bees off of the frame into the tub. Ready? Yep. All right, so now they're all in the air. That gives us uh, the foragers flying away. Um, and that gives us one last chance to look for the queen. And then Robert's going to take an alcohol wash jar and get it ready. I'm going to take the lid off the jar first, probably, huh? It's just oh, okay. sitting there. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Knock them down into the corner of the tub. Tumble the bees in. A little light. A little light. Missed a little bit too. Yep. So, and of course they're going pouring out of there. Now we'll be able to count the bees in the sample afterwards to make sure we got a good one. Plus, there's a couple of jar uh, lines inside the jar we'll be able to look at too. So he's he's shaking them there and, uh, to get them killed right away. And we want to kill the bees as quickly and humanely as we can. And then uh, let's go ahead and close up the hive uh, before we do anything else. We're up to the top line, so yeah, we got about, there's two lines inside the the, um, the sample jar. The, the bottom one is a 200B sample, and the top one is a 300B sample. So you can see, even though there were a lot of bees in the air, you know, I'm, I'm not wearing any gloves uh, so I can operate the camera. I'm allergic to bees, um, and I, you know, they're flying around because we shook them, but they're not, they're not pissed. They're, they're not bouncing off our veils or anything like that. Uh, so now that we got this, we can go ahead and add alcohol up to the, the top line of the jar. I, I see at least five. Right at least five? Yep. Yep. 
All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swirl it. Let me see that. I can show you my my swirling technique there. And you're gonna swirl it like kind of like this, a little more gently for about a minute. Uh, but if Robert says there's five mites in there, even before we added the alcohol. yeah, before we added the alcohol. Six. Yep, so six is our threshold. So uh, we could continue to shake uh, this for another minute, but that, to see if we get any more mites. But you know, we're yeah, point. exactly. We're already made a, a treatment decision. And this is our very first colony. Uh, we are going to mite count the rest of these colonies, uh, mostly for information purposes. Uh, but our our procedure is we treat every colony. In the apiary at the same time with the same product and so we have one colony that needs it uh, means everybody's getting it um, okay. thanks a lot for watching have a great day seven, seven. Okay. all right